Well, you know, happy birthday, uh, nonetheless. I hope you have a good time. I mean, it's not easy being dead. <laughs> you drunk old man. Oh, hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm hanging out with my friend here, Jack, and we're celebrating his, technically his death day. It's been uh, 100 years now you've been dead? It's not right. All right. Well, you know, he's a man of little words. He's been uh, hitting the Jameson, and it's just going right through him. <laughs> just, you got to... Okay, I guess I, I guess you guys don't care. So let me know when you're all in the room. Everyone make comments. This is our uh, first of a Friday catacombs throughout the month of October. I've gone through and dug out some really beautiful um, old school Halloween editions for the catacombs for you all. And for all these folks that have been uh, picking up all these editions we got, um, there is still Necrotic Genesis Wave 3 editions left. And for the Sun K editions that went live at 11, you still got metallic cards and collector boxes uh, ready to pick up. So there's still some stuff available. Go ahead and look around and uh, check out some other stuff. And I'm going to have a bunch of really cool stuff here on the catacombs. So let's see who do we got in here today. So everybody, I hope you had a great week. It's Friday. And how about that Kickstarter? We're only two days in. We've crossed over $230. So that means there's probably going to be a lot more of uh, stretch goals or bonus items, I should say, heading your way. Do you like uh, bonus items, Jax? Is that right? All right. Well, you know, like I say, he's a man of little words. He's been gone uh, since uh, 19, uh, I think it was 1923. So it's been close to 100 years. Um, I think you look good, you know. I think you look really good for a stiff, but you know, you know, I, one of these days I hope to look as good as you uh, when I hit a uh, hundred years of death. So, but you know, oh, hello, Mr. Goat. How, how you doing? Goat 100 in the house over on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV. Hi, how you doing? I hope you are enjoying yourself. Do um, you got anything special planned for your weekend over there in YouTube land? No, I'm not talking to you, Jack. Not you, okay? All right. All right. Just keep drinking your Jameson. As I can see, it's it's staining the chair you're sitting on. So I'm probably going to have to clean this up uh, before I leave today. So uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Goat, for uh, 100 for joining us. I hope you're having a good one. Um, oh, well, thank you. Um, like I say, he's, uh, he's, a little, uh, he's a little thin. He doesn't have much of a personality. Uh, but, you know, Jack here, like I say, he had a heck of a life. Uh, he was a bootlegger, uh, apparently. Um, his brother, who I had on yesterday, Jerry, uh, Jerry was a, a bit of a crazy guy. So, you know, uh, he figured, well, let's let's bring uh, Jack over and, you know, have him hang out with y'all. No, but you get to be here with me. If you like what night, you're really going to like what I got for you, Catherine. Just go to the store, Coffin Comic Shop dot com click on catacombs and there there will be the items uh, i am offering today along with some other stuff um, that i have offered um, for the past couple of weeks over in the catacombs and catherine i dug deep and got a lot of really cool uh last editions of some halloween stuff uh both from our epic past as well as stuff um fairly recently so i hope uh like I say, go to Calvin Comic Shop, click on the catacombs, and uh, check out some of the stuff I've offered. Oh, hi, everyone. I spoil you. Oh, Catherine, that's my job. I'm supposed to spoil you because I'm spoiling my buddy Jack here because it's uh, Happy Death Day. Uh, like I say, he died in 1923. He was a bootlegger, and I had his bar on yesterday. Uh, yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday. Jerry, right? Jerry, Jerry. Okay, there you go. See, he talks a little. Bit. Hey, let's uh, let's not get a little. Uh, hey, come on, Jerry. Come on, Jack. You're you're a little tipsy. All that Jameson is just running right through him. Oh, Joe R. I'm glad I can brighten your day. That's one thing we try to do here at Coffin Comics is make sure you guys uh, enjoy yourselves, have fun. We could be like other uh, publishers and just do the typical, oh, we're going to do a press release. And we're gonna do no, we drop down that curtain so you guys get to basically hang out with us. There's no other publisher in the comic industry like Coffee Comics. I can guarantee it. So thank you for joining us. Who else do we have today? Ernesto, what's up, man? 
Oh, Drew, right on. I hope you're really going to like the story. Right on, man. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much uh, to your dad for picking up Diabolical Harvest. Number one. Thank you, man. Second Street Marble, welcome. All right, I'm going to show your comments. Yes, sworn to you, brother. Uh, I think you're getting under his skin. You know, Peter, like I say, Jack is, uh, well, he's not very talkative. Like he had vampire teeth on earlier today because he was all in the mood and he like uh, drank a little too much. And next thing you know, they're just flying out of his mouth. So I'm like, Jack, no more. No more of the uh, vampire teeth for you. You're cut off. All right. Oh, look, my notification that I have to clean the restroom today. So after I'm done uh, doing this show, you guys are going to know what I'm doing next. Clean the restrooms. That's right. No matter what your position here is, Coffee Comics, we all have chores and we try to make sure uh, we get them done. So uh, my chore is uh, making sure the restroom is clean uh, before we uh, open up on Monday. So anyways, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, and then also when I get home this weekend, I got yard work. So, have, so my whole the next three days is all going to be cleaning. All right. Um, well, I'm sorry, but uh, the justice for Jeff crew um, took care of Brandy. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, unfortunately um, I wish Brandy could be with me today, but um, she is, uh, you know, she's taking some time off. You know, that gal really has worked hard and she's done a really great job of making sure these Kickstarters are going out. Her and the warehouse crew have really just been uh, pushing themselves hard to make sure everything is done properly. So um, thank you for asking. Thank you, Second Street. Yeah. Mike Madigan, what's up? Grabbed a beautiful Mike DeBalfo cover from the cat. Right on. You know what? Speaking of which, um, Let's get going, shall we? All right, so I've got some really great stuff. And uh, this thing is uh, Mighty Purdy. It is a number three. It is All Hollows Evil. And this is the Halloween edition by the one and only Elias Chatsudos. What do you think of this image, Jack? It's pretty freaking stunning. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You know, Jack, uh, Jack, are you? Jack? I. I, I think I lost Jack. Um, all right, so he's dead drunk. <laughs> Dad puns. I can do it on Fridays, Brandy. Don't judge me. All right, next up, I have a classic for you. Uh, this is the original All Hollows Evil. This is from the giveaway from Overstreet Magazine back in the 90s. And uh, Blue Clouds, what's up, Ian? Uh, <laughs> hi, Ace. So this is the only copy I have hot. She's not in there. She's got uh, some damage right here. Um, but I have not had one of these uh, in about three years. So I was really happy to at least have one. I put down at a great price. So it's available right here on the catacombs today. All right, next up, I got a number three. I got a number three and it's Ryan Brown. Now he did this a while back and this is just a stunning piece. This is Lady Death Revelation dark harvest edition and yeah you see that sticker you know right there the coa that's right it's a number three from uh, me to you i couldn't think of a good rhyme off the top of my head i apologize i'll do better next time all right next up this is something we've uh only um have done once in a very great while uh this is sacrificial all right, it's Friday. This is Sacrificial Annihilation, numero uno. This is the Clan McDeath Naughty Heavy Metal Edition number three. How did we have that much room to write down all of that? It's a bloody sentence. <laughs> so this edition is available. This is a Clan a McDonald's uh, edition. I believe he offered it up at uh, uh, Albuquerque Comic Con. Um, so... Here it is. I've got number three and a couple BPs, and that's it. That's really all I have of these. Uh, there's a regular edition, a metal, and a hollow foil. Of course, naughty and nice. What more could you expect from Coffin Comics? So um, expect to see them here and there. I'm, like I say, it, it, they're really beautiful piece. Ryan Kincaid did it. I mean, look at this. Just uh, and I love, you know, the if anyone caught that, uh, there can only be one. That's right. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful homage to the Highlander. And if you haven't seen Highlander, you owe it to yourself to watch that movie. 
I don't know about anything after the first one. I tried the second one. I tried the third, but, you know, stick with number one. It's fun. All right, here we go. I got a couple of these. This is a publisher file. This is Lady Death Hell Raiders. Michael Dooney, naughty edition. This is limited to 66 copies. This is a publisher file. I'm here to make you smile with a publisher file. Chatzutis is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Eric, what's up, man? How are you? I got I got to put up your kooky eyes, uh, Adrian. Uh, that's freaking awesome. I love your comment. All right. And I also have, uh, ooh, did I do that? So I have Naughty and I have Nice, Michael Dooney. So pick them up. Only 66 were published. All right. What else do I have? Oh, I have two Nices for you. Yeah. So I've added uh, some, um, instead of just onesie, I had twosies. I've added twosies, threesies. You have to threesies. You know, so that way everyone has a chance. Oh, my God. Here we go. Wargasm number one, Infinity Verse, Astronaut Edition by Joel Gomez. Joel Gomez. Freaking awesome. Look at that. Beautiful piece. Limited to 40 copies, folks. So make sure you scoop it up and get it. Yum, yum, yum. Come get some. And it looks like I have two, three. I have four copies available. So there's a chance for everyone to get themselves one of these beautiful, beautiful Infinity Burst uh, editions that Joel Gomez has been doing all year for us. Oh, oh my. What do we have here? How about another publisher file, Lady Death Echoes, Ryan Kincaid. Nice edition. And I love about the artwork is the reflection is the naughty cover. There you go. It's around there on this side. So the naughty version will have naughty over here, and you can see the back half of the nice of reflection. Really awesome piece. Really awesome piece. Blue clouds, blue clouds. I know it's a, it's an amazing piece. Well, I got two of them suckers for you folks right now. That's right, two are available on the catacombs. Jack, are you okay? Jack, wake up, Jack. You're you had too much Jameson. Wake up. Come on. I'll get you some coffee here in a second. Some people's kids. All right. And I have this beautiful number six edition. This is All Hollows Evil. Naughty Witch Hollow Foil Edition by David Harrigan. Look at this piece. Look at the how the reflection shows you this, um, the nice little pumpkin patch behind her in the trees. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Get it. It's on the catacombs. It's ready for you. Oh. He's still my heart. I had to throw in this because it's absolutely stunning. This is Lady Death Devotion's Naughty Witchcraft Virgin Art Edition. Yeah, that's from the vault. This is number five. Number five out of 199 is available for you. Ooh. Yes, that sounds correct. Uncle Sam. <laughs> well, you know what? At least here at Coffin Comics, yes, you do have a choice. You can get it or not. IRS it. No, forget about it. I'm still waiting for my uh, refund they owe me from like seven years ago. Yeah. Thank God they believe in interest because, yeah, one of these days when I get it, it'll be like, yay. All right. I have for you folks the last copies of Lady Death Majestic Number 1, John McTeague Sworn Fest Edition as they say in France. Yes. Oh, yes, we do. We have a, a full bar. Um, just before I cut off, I'll go behind there and you can see the full bar. Uh, but yeah, we have a full bar in here. Um, if you saw the Kickstarter launch party, we uh, believe in debauchery. Oh my God, how about this? All Hallows Evil, Dark Forest Edition. It's a BP by James O'Barr, creator of The Crow. Yo, 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 James O'Barr's in the house. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, my God, what the? I'll be nice. Okay. Ooh, here's a mock-up for you, Blasphemy Anthem. Jewel Editions, and it has no jewels. So for mock-ups, for those who don't know that are new to us here at Coffin Comics, usually I only get to offer two or three mock-ups per edition. So these are probably about as rare as Omegas. And Omegas, there is only uno mas of one of them bad boys and girls out there so uh mock-ups are pretty gosh darn rare oh god i was happy to find this uh so far this is the last mock-up i have 
And um, this is uh, his first cover with us here at Coffin. This is uh, Eric Henson's Nightmare Symphony Cowboys from Hell Mock-Up. That's right. I offered uh, one of these a uh, few months back, and it is gone. That's right, Godzilla. That's right. I'm putting that comment up because it's Godzilla. See you there. Uh, Adriana, Jimmy, that you show in the comments. No, actually, that's me. I'm doing it all solo. I am actor, talent, director. Right, that Jack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jack doesn't laugh. <laughs> All right, and for my last presentation for you folks today, you beautiful ladies, gentlemen, sweet members and fiends alike, I present to you from the vault the editions of Nightmare Symphony Chase by Marat Michaels. That's right. I have this loaded up and ready to go. This is everything I have for you beautiful people here at the catacombs. Let me just read over some comments uh, real quick. Uh, Adriana, that is actually me, so I'm going to just go, beep, Adrian, hi, what's up, how you doing? That is not Jimmy, that is me, I am the director and editor. Uh, Wednesday's Hell Witch Kickstarter night must have been a great time. It was an amazing time, it was a really great time, and, you know, I cordially invite you guys, if, uh, once we ever, if you're in Arizona and we're doing a Kickstarter launch and it's open to the public, come on down, join us. We're always having fun, um, so yeah, I mean... Just all you have to do is uh, ask if we're doing anything publicly. I know we are in talks about stuff for next year coming up. So, yeah, um, please, 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 please. Uh, when we're able to do a celebration and you can come down to Arizona or Mesa, Arizona and hang out with us, please do. And, uh, you know, there's Sworn Fest 2024 coming up, and that will be here before you know it. So stay tuned. What else do we have? Uh, if that was the version with the mask on, maybe I would get that mock-up. Um, uh, the mock-up by, oh, Sword Songs. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I, 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 I know I, there is a mask version, but I don't know if I have any. Um, but I have this one. Yeah. Um, I wish it had jewels on it, um, but I know some uh, folks like to get their stuff graded. So sometimes it's kind of neat to get a jeweled edition graded. Um, I, I know there's not a lot of grading services that will grade jewels or any of our weird shape books. But um, if you find one that does, please, please, please get it done because I think they're very unique. And I think they should be allowed to be graded. Any updates on the Hell Witch figure? Uh, you know, actually, yes. They are on the boat. We actually heard from um, our uh, licensing partners, uh, and they definitely said they are on the boat and heading this way. Um, I guess you could say in the terms of heading into the harbor or something, they're somewhere near the queue. So when I think of queue, I think of Netflix queue to when you used to have to arrange your DVDs. <laughs> remember when yeah, Jack you remember oh no you were dead I'm sorry Jack I didn't mean to insult you but you were there for the telegraph and that's pretty awesome I mean uh did you ever send messages to a uh, telegraph of course I reply not to John dear John telegrams <laughs> I want to drink more well okay you know just go ahead and drink some more there buddy there you go happy birthday or happy death day um uh, actually, you will see those uh, popping up in the near future, uh, just getting everything organized. Um, like I say, we're always trying to change things up, so uh, you will be seeing scratch and dents uh, in the future. Um, like I say, sometimes things get so crazy around here, it's like, okay, well, let's switch things up. Let's kind of freshen things up. So, uh, yeah, you will be seeing those coming up. Uh, that was for you, Joar. Uh oh nice good for you right on blue clouds you deserve that all right everybody it's about uh almost time to quit and uh i'm gonna go uh, and have a brewski brew ha ha see oh joe you're quite welcome man you're quite welcome and like i say anything i can answer uh the best of my knowledge i'd be more than happy to so uh again i'm julian the hooligan i'm your friendly neighborhood hooligan here at coffee comics and i love to sell you beautiful books uh, so I'm going to get ready to get out of here and start my weekend. Uh, thank you, uh, Adrian. I hope you have a great weekend too. Uh, Jack, do you got anything planned? Uh, 
going to be dead drunk. All right. Well, he's going to be dead drunk. He's halfway there. So, you know, he's dead. But, um, you know, Jack, I'm watching you as you drink. And, and like I say, it's all over this beautiful uh, refixed uh, chair we got here that we use uh, in our conference room. So um, I don't like you right now because I got to clean all that up, sir. So I think I'm going to finish this uh, right now. I'm going to finish his Jameson. And uh, everybody have a great weekend. I hope you all will join me when we are back next week. See you Monday, Thursday, and Friday throughout the month of October. And I've got even more beautiful Halloween editions from the vault. Said I'd do it. Got more surprises coming your way. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Uh, I hate to say goodbye. But yeah, I got a bathroom to clean. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend and take care. You guys have been great. I'm not Brian Polito. I'm just Hooligan. Bye-bye. Jack, stop that.